Hi, I'm Eddie Silverberg with Flexible Assembly Systems, and today we'll be reviewing the TSTT series touchscreen torque tester. This is a desktop torque tester that features a full color LCD touchscreen, a half percent accuracy, USB port, and SD card slot for data exporting, on screen graphing, uh, four hours of continuous use, and also an automatic flip feature depending on the orientation you're using the tester. So today we'll be going through the different features and benefits. Here we have the main menu selection which is where the user can select from measure mode which is a metrology level calibration screen, quick run which is used as a quick audit or quick test, settings which has uh, user preference settings, system info has information on the calibration date and due date along with the firmware version and torque calculator which is where the user can do on-screen torque calculations. We'll select user settings and down here we have peak time which allows the user to change the peak time capture based off of the tool characteristics or the tool that they're testing. So for example if you have a tool that uh, has a long cycle time like a pulse tool you would want to change that peak time to match um, and also if you have an electric screwdriver which has a very short peak time you would again want to change that peak time to match and if we back up we have auto clear which stores the readings on screen for a certain period of time before they're cleared sleep mode which turns the unit off after an established period of time which is a good battery saving feature. Another good battery saving feature is the backlight which turns the backlight off after an established period of time. And then we have the language selection clock and screen brightness. We'll select system information which is where you can see it contains the information on the software version, the calibration information, and the unit calibration which is a admin access screen to recalibrate the unit. Torque calculator is where the user can do on-screen torque calculations. So they can do conversions, select different units of torque, We select quick run, that will take us into a screen where we can do a quick test or quick audit. And this is a rundown fixture which is used primarily to test power tools. And since we're testing power tools, we're going to want to change this from track to peak. And here's where we could select our different units of calibration. And you'll notice as I take my sample readings that the auto clear time will actually appear right here. And if I hit graph, you can actually see the characteristics of the tool as it achieved torque. So you can see it build here towards the end. So that is the on-screen graphing capability. And measure mode, again, is a metrology level calibration screen which allows you to capture data and then export it. So here we have the peak or track mode, units of calibration, your acceptable low limit, and our high limit, along with a torque threshold, which is the minimum level that the torque tester will start to measure so it won't measure anything below say five inch pounds 
and then you have the option of measuring clockwise, counterclockwise, or actually both directions. So what we'll do is we'll, again we'll take some sample readings. Then we can move through the export screen and here you have the export name or job name or in this case what I do is I enter the tool serial number and here you can actually see the readings that have been captured. We took a total of six samples and I want to go ahead and actually view the statistics on the screen. I can select statistics and actually view um, your CPK calculations, uh, minimum recorded, maximum recorded, and also the uh, total limits there. And at the top you can see the tool serial number for that job. So if we go back and I actually plug the SD card in. It will allow me to save the readings to the SD card. And it's been exported. Then what I can do is I can actually take these readings, plug them into my laptop, and save that data and archive it. Or you can actually just leave it on the card and it will save it. And now if I take the SD card with the stored readings and plug it into my laptop, we can then view the readings. And as you can see, the tool is actually saved as the serial number which appears here on the SD card. It actually saves it as two files. One is a text file, comma delimited, that can then be imported through CSV into Excel. And the other is saved as a Word file, which can then be saved as is or exported into another template. But you can see you have the date and time stamp, um, model information, and also your CPK calculations along with the readings that have been taken. So extremely useful information, especially for uh, metrology level calibration. Another very unique feature on this torque tester is the automatic flip feature, which depending on how you're using the torque tester, the unit will actually automatically flip. So you can actually see you can use it in the vertical position or the horizontal position and the screen will actually automatically flip depending on the orientation you're using it in. So this is extremely useful for when testing you know, say uh, high capacity torque wrenches um, where it may not be feasible to calibrate them in a uh, vertical position, so horizontal position may be a little more practical. So again, you have your flip feature. And the unit sits flat on the desktop. Here we'll take a look at the data export capabilities of the unit. Here you have your mini USB and your SD card slot. This is your reset button and also your power button and this is the AC adapter. So thanks for joining us for the review of the TSTT series touchscreen torque tester. And for more information, user manuals, data sheets, please check us out online at flexibleassembly.com.